Hello and welcome to Pharaoh A New Era. Pharaoh was a game that was originally released um, back in October 31st of 1999 and it is a city building game and later the expansion Cleopatra. Um, it's from the makers of Sierra Online and they also release games like uh, Caesar 1, 2, and 3 and Zeus. Um, so it's a very, very fun, very addictive city building game. I, remember I played this all throughout high school. It's a great game. Yes, I am that old. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and get started. Pharaoh New Era is a complete remake of the original game. It is not just a high definition uh, reskin of a game. So it's a completely new engine. Should have fixed a lot of the bugs that were present in the original game. Because back then, the game was the game. There were no patches or hot fixes. So they could push it out in a later release. But let's go ahead and get started. Let's look at our options first because there are some quality of life changes. Language is going to be English. Our recruitment system will be set to global labor pool. By default, this is recruiters. Um, that means that for all your outposts and shanty towns and everything, you have to have, or your industrial complexes, you have to have like shanty towns next to them um, just to, so they can get workers. So this will switch to global labor pool. So as long as there are, you have available labor and they're connected to a road and stuff like that, they will automatically be filled. Um, I feel that this is a very nice setting. I did not like the way the original ones work. I'm so used to playing with them though, but we're going to go ahead and give this a try. And I figure if you're a new player, this is probably what you want to use. Worker population is a simulation, a simulation, which means that 60% of your available workforce, I think it's like 20 something to 49 will work. That accounts for people that are pregnant, people that have injuries, stuff like that. So your population will basically, even if you have a thousand something population, well, you don't have a thousand something workers and they will get old and die and or get old and leave your workforce and of course die. Um, cheat codes are going to be off. Predators will be on. I have my storage default except to none. That's just a personal preference. If you're new to playing, I recommend just have that on, um, just on all, just so you can get used to that. I like mine is none. Unique walker range is on, so certain walkers have different distances. We'll go over that when we play, of course. Uh, all, all those are base. Um, Off-road water lift, that's cool. So you can have water lifts that are just way out there, which very much more simulates, I think, in the real world. You don't need a road access for that because it's kind of silly to have this long, snaking road to go way out to a water lift. If you've seen farms and stuff, it's not always the case. You're just going to tramp across the field. Uh, Off-road tower, um, same thing for your soldiers. Uh, Subcategory pre-open, which is yes. This is base setting. Hover on building display. Delay, we're going to leave that. Overall, overseer pause off. I have this as um, no. So this is kind of weird. It's an inverted setting. So overseer pause off, yes, which means that the game will still run when your overseers pop up. I like mine because I like to read through it sometimes, especially here for YouTube. Um, so I want uh my game pause scripted events pause yes just weird that these two are inverted and then this is base and base and base i'm gonna go ahead and leave it at normal i feel a lot of people would want to follow along with that um it, you know the game is fun on hard very hard but we're gonna go ahead and, especially for youtube when you're trying to think and talk and play at the same time um yeah it's fun so let's get started all right we're gonna create a family we'll go ahead and go with the basic one here and we will name it Adam. Pharaoh Adam. Well, not really quite Pharaoh yet. That's not going to be for a long time. So let's get started with the campaign. It's weird that you have to still kind of get used to it. I have played the first couple of missions, and it is very much different than the original game to where it holds your hand and you can't progress forward until you meet certain requirements kind of thing during the mission instead of just giving you everything. But here we are in the pre-dynastic period. Your family begins the pre-dynastic period, leading a small band of nomads through the discovery of the arts and civilization. Your leadership helps to set Egypt on its course to eventual greatness, still glimpsed only dimly. We are here in the, I'm going to butcher a lot of these names, in the city of Nipt, I guess it would be village. So our wind conditions here is only six meager shanties. Welcome to ancient Egypt, land of the pharaohs. Here you'll participate in the history of one of the greatest civilizations the world has ever seen. In an epic story that spans more than 15 centuries and two dozen generations. You must lead one family, generation by generation, from its earliest beginnings in Egyptian prehistory, through the dawn of civilization, to the establishment of a unique and powerful empire and beyond. 
Our story begins more than 5,000 years ago, along the banks of the Nile River in an area known as Nukt. Here, a small confederacy of clans struggles to eke out an existence in the harsh environment. With you at its head, your family leaves this small settlement. All right, so here we are in Nukt, and it doesn't show our wind conditions, and it hasn't done that for quite a few missions that I played, so I'm not quite happy with that. So the humble beginnings here is going to show you how to play. Um, you have to use the panel, access everything. It's going to build these, build these weird things here with the houses. It has no road access. Select the road. The Kingdom Road. Now here's something very important if you're picking this game up and you click off somewhere. You have to right click to continue. So if you miss this, you need to go up top to your notifications, reopen this and do it. I got stuck the first time I did this and I'm like, what's going on? So right click to continue. Maybe we fix in a, uh, a hot fix. So we can go ahead and increase our speed here to let people move in. Because of this mission, our hands are tied. So you can see here, it went two, then four, and two, and four, and four, and four. These houses will automatically join up. Um, we want those, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm getting over being sick. We want those to be um, in four. So later on, we're gonna directly avoid having that happen in certain ways I'll show. So now we need water. We're gonna make a, and they work in a two, while, a two tile radius. So this is gonna be the first time and the last time we're pretty much gonna use these wells. Okay, now we have to right click to get out of that. Quality of life. So you can see all these things drop out. Um, you can tell uh, if you'd rather have the subcategories open when you select a category, you can choose to do so, which I do have it open. Um, I still get lost on where everything's at. I've played, I think, the first six or seven missions to test everything out. All right, hunting. If you're on a map with hunting, you're doing really good. So we're going to go ahead and build those up. Workforce access. Yep. Let's go ahead see what I mean about clicking through that. We're going to set stock and distribution category. Let's open. Now it's selling us granaries. Okay. So we need to go ahead and build a granary. Bizarre. So I, the hunting lodges will gather your food. The granary will store your food. And the bazaars sell your food. And that's the bazaars sell everything for all your houses, including uh, pottery and beer and linen and everything else. All right, so it's telling you about where they come in and out. This is really cool. It's a new feature to this that shows you where your walkers were entrance and exit of your buildings. So in the old game, um, you basically had to look it up on the wiki that you'd have to know, oh, bottom right, top right, etc. for whatever building it was. So ambulomancy. So basically when your workers come to a crossroads, they have a 33% chance to go, 33% chance there, 33% there, 33% there. Now, if this was, say an architect that's going to keep your buildings from collapsing and he keeps going this way right and then going back um your buildings could collapse so we want to avoid having these things yep okay re roadblocks see it's, for some reason it's clicking out open the service category all right and then we can now freely place buildings so we're going to go ahead and displace a uh Firehouse and an architect's post. All right, access to clean water. So we've already moved on past those wells. And these are what you'll use. These are walkers. They have a water supply. They have to be placed on grass. And you can see like here would be a bad idea because they're gonna walk on that side of the road walk and go there. So we want to avoid that. You can still place them like right here, halfway on there. So now we need meager shanty. So you can see here, if you click on them, this house cannot evolve and needs supply of food. So we want to go ahead and speed that up a little bit. We can throw down a few more. Houses need certain things to evolve. They need food. They need pottery. They need uh, beer. So every, And they need desirability. They need religion. So every level of house will build upon that. And you have to have all those foundations in. Of course, a big one always being desirability. I think this one right here will say, nope, it's still food. So now we're just basically waiting for um, our granary here to fill up. We can hit F to see flat. Why aren't y'all wanting to work? 
Is it because I placed that there? Oh, no, it's because I'm a dum-dum. Except all. I forgot my own settings, guys. It's been one mission I'm already messing up. I will make mistakes throughout this, so I am by no means a perfect player. But there we go. Well done. By filling your people's bellies and nourishing food and protecting their homes from fire or collapse, you've helped this fledgling civilization take its first step on the long road of history. So the first few missions of this are just going to be building upon uh, new and new mechanics to help you get your um, civilization going, and then it kind of gives you um, free reigns to, for a while. So we had zero culture, zero prosperity, kingdom rating of 49, six meager shanties, and a population of 340. All right, guys, this was the first mission in Pharaoh, a new era here at Noop. So I appreciate y'all watching, and as always, I hope to see you next time.